everyone, Amy Belzer Tennant here, the genealogy reporter. And in today's genealogy tip Tuesday video, I'm sharing about affidavits of descent. If you haven't heard of affidavits of descent, you may have heard them called affidavits of airship. An affidavit really is a simple document. It's a document created, a written oath, um, that verifies that something is true. And in this case, an affidavit of descent is verifying that the person testifying is a legal heir of a decedent or a person who has passed away. Generally speaking, the courts will use this type of document to determine heirs in a case where someone has died intestate, meaning they didn't have a will. The courts are just trying to identify the heirs, and so this type of document might be created. It's definitely something you want to get your hands on because these affidavits of descent can hold information like names, ages, relationships, and even addresses of the heirs. So where can you find these affidavits of descent or affidavits of heirship? Well, generally speaking, they're going to be on a county level. Now, here's the thing, and you probably already know this about courthouses on the county level. You never know which court something's going to be filed in. Generally speaking, I would say that these types of records would be held in a probate office but um, or the probate court, but sometimes they might be in a surrogate court or an orphan's court or... Um, a clerk's court, circuit court, I mean, it could be anywhere. So you really need to talk to a knowledgeable person. Who is that knowledgeable person? Maybe someone at the courthouse, or maybe someone at a county level historical society, maybe at the library in the genealogy department, as to where exactly those affidavits of descent would have been filed. Now, what's really great is that sometimes you can find these affidavits of descent online for free at familysearch.org. So I want to show you how I found some affidavits of descent for Harlan County, Kentucky, and just kind of walk you through those steps. So we're at familysearch.org. We're going to make sure we're signed in so we get all the goodies and click here on search. From the pull-down menu, choose Catalog. Now here at the catalog, it automatically picks up the place field for us. Here, type in United States, Kentucky, and in this case, Harlan, because that's my county. At the search results for family search catalog for Harlan, County, Kentucky. I scroll down and you'll notice here in the probate records, I'm going to click here on probate records, that we have affidavit of descent books from 1962 to 1989. I'm going to go ahead and click on there. And this gives me some information. It tells me that um, this was created from Harlan County Repository, Clerk of the County Court. Um, let's see here, we got four microfilm reels. We scroll down and we've got these volumes, volume one, two, three, four, five through eight and nine. Now, if we look over here and we see a camera, which we do, lucky us, that means we have access to view these digital images online for free from home which is great. If by chance you run into a camera with a little key over top, that means that the records are only available from a family history center. And unfortunately right now they're closed because of the pandemic and so you might not be able to get to those right away, but in the future you will. Let's go ahead and click on one of these. And right now we're looking at this roll of microfilm and you'll notice that if we click here on this image, we've got an index at the beginning. So we could go and look for our ancestors by uh, surname and see if any of them pop into this uh, index. And if they do, we definitely want to take a look at that record. For example, if we were looking for Sarah Ayers, we would find her affidavit of descent or an affidavit of descent regarding Sarah um, recorded on page 254 of this volume or this microfilm. Let's take a look. Let me just pop in a number here. 
Let's look at image 134. Okay, this one says, Affidavit of Descent, James Blanton states that he's the widower of Elva Blanton, who died intestate, and gives the date that she left the following named persons who are over 21 years of age as her surviving heirs at law. And it goes and names every one of her heirs and where they live and how they are related to her. Isn't that neat? Okay, and then over here on the next affidavit is of descent. This one's a little bit different. This says Lizzie Fields, that she is heir of law of Hamp Fields, who died intestate on or about the 7th day of May, 1961. It goes down and mentions that Lizzie is 52 years old, that her address is Everett's, Kentucky. She's the widow and how much she is to inherit. And then it names each of the children and their ages and where they live, which is wonderful, especially Loretta Ann Kennedy, because Loretta Ann um, obviously has married, right? She has a different last name. So that would be very beneficial. Isn't that wonderful? Can't you see what a wonderful document this would be if you especially were trying to determine who somebody's parents were? And these affidavits of descent don't just start in the 1900s. You can find them even in the 1800s and they are awesome. So go and check them out. Pop over to Family Search, do a search on their catalog looking for those records. If you're not lucky there, give the county a call. Ask them about affidavits of descent or affidavits of heirship and take a look and see what you might find. Thanks for joining me here on Genealogy Tip Tuesday. I look forward to seeing you again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We need you. Thanks. Stay safe. Bye-bye.